So, one of the hot stories in the media these days is these incredible results that scientists are getting from clinical trials employing mind-altering substances, employing psychedelics to treat people with psychiatric distress. The idea being that our amygdala or our neocortex or our inner Woody Allen uh, becomes hijacked by the onslaught of cul-de-sacs and error messages running in our scenario planning overly taxed neocortex. We live in a stressful world, not to mention we harbor all these traumas from family, from growing up, from insecurity. I mean, the human animal is an intensely neurotic being. And so a lot of us are choking on our introversions. And so how might altered states of consciousness, properly mediated, how might psychedelics help alleviate our existential distress? And the key theory put out there by neuroscientists is that something called the default mode network, which is the autobiographical self, the story you tell yourself about yourself, (laughs) is uh, temporarily disrupted. So this, we call it the ego. The ego can become a terrible tyrant. While we might use our ego to exercise agency in the world, when we become distressed, when we feel uh, any kind of fear or danger or are harboring or repressing trauma, our ego becomes hyperactive and becomes a terrible tyrant. So this overly active default mode network is what triggers the excess rumination, right? That characterizes conditions such as anxiety and depression. What psychedelics seem to do, according to the ideas in Stephen Kotler and Jamie Wheel's new book, Stealing Fire, is that psychedelics hurl the nervous system into the now. They force us into the deep now. A state of mind that is free from self, from time, even from mind. Ecstasis, as they call it, to step outside yourself, to step beyond yourself, to walk into what poets call the forever box, the zone. And what that does is it gives us a kind of psychological version of the astronaut overview effect. We step out of ourselves and beyond ourselves to look at the reality of ourselves you know, indigenous Indians who take magic mushrooms say it's like a movie of your whole life that plays right in front of you. And allowing you to step into this different psychic dimension gives you much needed perspective, right? It widens your awareness and your perspective. And this becomes crucial space for psychic realignment, right? For transformative insights to turn into realignment so that the whole technical material of the self can be rewritten. It's like you're entering God mode. It's like you're doing backdoor access into your operating system and you're fixing the fucking wetware. What psychedelics do is they allow you to flip that switch so you can actually go into programming mode. Programming and metaprogramming the human operating system becomes possible. It's the reason people are saying that psychedelics are like telescopes, space telescopes for the mind, right? The new space is inner space. Psychedelics become microscopes to peer into our psyche and to fix the screenplay, to fix our psychic self, to rewrite the contours of the inner world. And why would we want to employ these psychedelics to fix ourselves? Well, as David Lenson says, the goal goal is stewardship of internal life. Increased stewardship of internal life is liberation, right? That's when the self decouples itself from its own limitations. That's like that's like uh, decommissioning natural selection and deciding for ourselves who we want to become, authoring our mindware. So my friends, if you care about human well-being, if you care about psychotherapy, if you care about alleviating our collective soul sickness, you will take a closer look at the use of entheogenic plants and chemicals to modulate the knobs and levers of perception, increased advances, as Jamie Wheel and Stephen Kotler says, in technology, psychology, neurobiology, and pharmacology, right employed in the right way virtual reality psychedelics video games immersive environments whatever it may be together these things allow us to become like DJs or surgeons for our own psyches we're like we're literally neurosurgeons for our own soul and Duh. If we care about human flourishing and human well-being, if we want to become paradise engineers, let us do this together DIY storming heaven 
Use the tools available. Don't run away from our potentiality. Embrace it. So, I recommend reading more about this and putting your support behind the ongoing research on psychedelics as tools for psychotherapy and fixing our soul sickness. Coming from my own personal experiences as well. Cheers.